Dr. Nolan, it is such a joy to welcome you to This is the Day. We hear an image of a field of dreams, but you and your team are building a, a university of dreams. Uh, tell us a bit about yourself, your background, Dr. Nolan, and about Catholic Polytechnic University. Thank you, Father Richard. Thank you for having me. About myself, um, I have a PhD from the Department of Cognitive Science at UC Irvine, and I've taught at three different universities in California. Um, I'm a former Catholic homeschooling mom, uh, but as my husband and I used to go for walks at night and we were thinking, we have kids who wanna be scientists and engineers, so where do we send them to college? Do we send them to a STEM secular college where they may be talked out of their faith? Or do we send them to a, a Catholic liberal arts college that does not focus on STEM? So this question puzzled us, and I'm sure your viewers too. Um, so it, over time, I felt the Holy Spirit just putting in my heart to develop Catholic Polytechnic University. And it's basically it's like a Catholic Caltech or a Catholic MIT. This is, the mission is to form scientists, engineers, and technology leaders with the expertise in business and Catholic theology. So it's kind of like a tripod of STEM degrees, business curriculum, and Catholic theology. And we're building it to be a massive hub of the best and the brightest research and teaching in Catholicism and in science and technology. We have NASA scientists and engineers. We have professors who've done research and taught at MIT, USC, and Stanford. We have some retired military officers. <laughs> And, uh, and all of these people are wonderful, devout Catholics, and they all want to teach at Catholic Polytechnic. So we're building CPU to be pro-life, pro-country, pro-religious freedom, and deeply Catholic. Um, there's a little thing that I call Catholic immersion that I want for our campus, uh, just like Spanish language immersion or... Uh, any other type of immersion program. I'm working on having a religious order on campus to provide both regular and Latin masses and sacraments and adoration, which I hope to be at the center of the campus, along with required theology and apologetics coursework for all majors. And in this way, I hope to create Catholic Polytechnic University as um, what I call sustainably Catholic. So Catholic long after I'm around. And we're working on building a tech business also that CPU will run so that the students get hands-on experience running a tech company. And this is going to be our income generator so that CPU is fully self-sustaining in the long run. And also, and that will allow us to keep it, um, keep student tuition low and yet end reliance on philanthropy. So basically, Catholic Polytechnic University was formed to raise the socioeconomic status of the disadvantaged, rejoin faith and science, send scientists, innovators, and professors out into the world, and to help rebuild the Catholic Church in its numbers. So that's that's it in a nutshell. Wonderful, Dr. Nolan. Thank you so much. As my father is an engineer, my sister is an engineer, my nephew is an engineer. Uh, I am so excited about what CPU will bring, uh, not only to the church, but to the world in terms of science and uh, business acumen. Uh, tell us what the latest developments are. What, what have you been working on this summer? So right now we're working on a collaboration with another Catholic university and what we're uh, building is an AA degree in cybersecurity, and we plan to even offer it this fall. So we're uh, that's in the works. But we do hope to have our first cohort of students next fall of 2022 in computer science. So we're building out that department and that curriculum now. We do have a campus. Um, there's a local Don Bosco Technical Institute in Rosemead, California, and they have 30 acres and fully equipped STEM labs. So they are um, offering us uh, use of their campus and they're excited to have us on, on their campus with them. And we also have full support of Archbishop Gomez. 
that's uh, that's the key. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful, Jennifer. Well, tell us how folks can learn more about CPU, how people can contribute uh, to this wonderful university, uh, how students or potential faculty members can uh, reach the university. Sure, it best is just to go to our website for updates, but interested viewers can go to www.catholicpolytechnic.org catholicpolytechnic.org to find, fill out our survey, join our mailing list, register for classes once they're up and running, and become donors. The big thing is really to fill out the survey though, just because that will get them on the mailing list and we can um, even have conversations at that point uh, over email if anyone has questions. Wonderful, Jennifer. It is so inspiring to have such uh, creativity, innovation, a, a visionary a view of what a Catholic university can be. So we wish you every blessing on uh, this university and on your presidency of the university. May God bless you and everyone associated with Catholic Polytechnic University. God bless you, Dr. Nolan, and 